This speech was written by our leader, the Global Propriation Authority Ferris Naser, the Six Sacred Values, fellow Toastmasters, distinguished guests. Allow me to share a story with you. A small kid has asked me once, Leader Ferris, why the co-creation movement have six sacred values? I told him, do you mean the six sides of the co-creation cube? He said, yes, why these values are important. I said, you know the true value of something when it is not there. Have you ever imagined the future of humanity? Will it involve space colonization, a digital revolution, or sustainable living, or perhaps a world where individuals and countries work together in harmony with self-sufficiency and greater independence? But how? How do we ensure that everyone is included and that we can all contribute to making our world a better place? This leads us to the explanation of the six sacred values of the co-creation movement. I always want you to remember the co-creation cube, and these are inclusion, innovation, unity, togetherness, trust and philosophy. How these values will be manifested in our daily lives. So let us start with inclusion, with the rise of digitization, free media and global mobility. We are seeing more and more individualistic ideas among the population. However, these individualistic ideas in many cases are not able to see the light because some countries are democratic and others are not. Mass media plays a major role in shaping the population interest. So how inclusion will work with so many diverse ideas and groups of thought are coming together, keeping in mind the restrictions of democratic and autocratic systems. This leads me to the importance of digital platforms. When Facebook was first introduced, it was a game changer. For the first time, people could share their opinions publicly and comment on others' opinions without the need for face-to-face -face interaction. People also started saying things they would not say in face-to-face -face meetings, so people were empowered. However, over time, we have seen some negative consequences of digital platforms. Some people stopped sharing their opinions due to the pressure to receive likes and concerns about data collection and hate speech have arisen. That's where inclusion comes in. As the philosopher Aristotle once said, the whole is greater than the sum of its pots. In other words, when we work together and combine our unique strengths, we can accomplish more than we ever could on our own. As we saw in our co-creation sport workshops, when we have an independent authority that listens to our problems and proposes solutions, we can stop to feel empowered and confident that our voices are being heard. It's not a perfect system, but it's a step in the right direction. Let us embrace inclusion, celebrate our differences, and work together to create a better future for us all. As Maya Angelou once said, it is time for parents to teach young people early on that in diversity there is beauty and there is strength. A world where diverse and multicultural societies are embraced and where individualism and independent living are celebrated. So, let us talk about the second sacred value, innovation. When it comes to innovation, we are at a pivotal moment in history. The sheer amount of information and knowledge available to us is unprecedented. However, as we know, innovation is not just about having good ideas. It's about bringing those ideas to market and making them accessible to everyone. And unfortunately, many great ideas never make it past the death valley of research. But there is hope. As the saying goes, necessity is the mother of invention. Sometimes the best innovations come from those who are simply trying to solve the problem for themselves or their community. For example, I created a card game called You Are a Leader that helps people develop leadership skills. It started as something I wanted to use myself. Similarly, the co-creation, sport and digital platform were developed to address community needs and they have the potential to create global impact. On a greater scale is the use of ChatGPT to build your own software systems that you will be using is another example how you create innovations for yourself and your community. This is where the co-creation movement comes in. By building our capabilities to innovate locally, we can create globally relevant solutions that have market adoption potential. What about the third sacred value, unity? As we move toward a more individualistic future, it's important to find common ground and unite behind ideas that benefit us all. 
But this is not without its challenges. Many people still hold to old identities of narrow perspectives, which can hinder progress and limit our potential as a global community. Maybe there are not many ideas that can bring people together, such as the rule of law, economic growth and possibly the United Nations frameworks. However, I believe that the co-creation movement has the potential to bring people together behind a common goal of self-sufficiency and independence. By working together to build strong, resilient communities, we can create a sense of belonging and purpose that transcends traditional identities and boundaries. And by valuing diversity and inclusion, we can create a truly united global community. I think it is time that we talk about our fourth sacred value, togetherness. Life is not about work and achieving objectives and goals. People have emotions. We must not forget the importance of community and human connection. We need to create new avenues and social norms that make people feel safe, heard, and emotionally supported. In the words of Brene Brown, connection is why we're here. It is what gives purpose and meaning to our lives. Therefore, it is imperative that we embrace our emotional needs and seek out communities that foster a sense of belonging and trust. People have emotions. They go through ups and downs and the dynamic of the human's interaction makes them feel safer if there is a community they can rely on. This means that we need new safe avenues and social norms where people do not feel isolated behind digital platforms, a place that gives them the feeling of belonging and trust while embracing their emotional needs, where every meeting makes them feel better and it turns them to active agents in serving the community and to have realistic expectations from the community. This leads us to the fifth sacred value, trust. But how do we build trust? As Stephen Covey once said, trust is the glue of life. It's the most essential ingredient in effective communication. It's the foundational principle that holds all relationships. Trust comes in layers, the first layer being physical safety, followed by emotional support, and finally, support for personal growth and ambitions. When we establish these layers of trust, we can create communities where individuals can thrive and achieve their full potential. Finally, the sacred value of reflection and philosophy. To truly create a better future, we must also reflect on our philosophy and the values that guide us. As we embrace new technology and innovations, we must remain mindful of their impact on our relationships and society as a whole. We need to reflect on our approach to co-creation and how to forge a new path. And we need to create new content that endorses new norms and new values. We should have a clarity in our minds that we need to create a more fulfilling life for humanity and a place where greater individualism is allowed. Greater levels of independence can be easily reached while achieving a great sense of a global purpose and belonging. To our leader, Ferris Nasa. I'm Donald from the United States of America. I live in Texas. I'm a Republican. I know that you taught Americans in your online courses. You hosted Americans in your house. You have shown Americans your beautiful city. While we might not agree in everything, I support your leadership. We are with you.